Let's start tonight in Luzerne County, where a convicted murderer is sentenced to life in prison one day after he was found guilty. This morning, a judge sentenced Preston Bonnet to three consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Tuesday, a jury found him guilty of setting the fire that killed three brothers in Laughlin in 2017. 16-year-old Eric Dupree, 12-year-old Devin Major, and 7-year-old Ezekiel Major. The mother of the boys, Susan Major, sat through the week-long trial and spoke today at Bonnet sentencing. She also talked with Eyewitness News about what she's been through and how she's coping with the loss of her sons. Our lead I team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live tonight at the Luzerne County Courthouse. And Andy, first off, how is she holding up? Well, she's holding up pretty well considering what she's been through. Really, she's living a nightmare. She says she misses her three sons very deeply. She says she doesn't take it day by day, but Nick literally minute by minute. But she also believes deep in her heart that her boys are always with her, keeping her strong. It does bring me closure, though, Andy, in a way, but they're always with me. I know they're not physically, but spiritually, they're with me. They'll never leave me. Susan Major says the souls of her three sons, 16-year-old Eric Dupree, 12-year-old Devin Major, and 7-year-old Ezekiel Major will never die. She was confident that the jury would find the man responsible for the deadly fire, Preston Bonnet, guilty. Oh, I was ecstatic, Andy, just to know that justice was served. Major sat through the trial, hearing over and over again the horrible details of that fateful night, including the 911 tape played for the jury when Eric Dupree saw a bonnet on the back porch of their Laughlin home. Minutes later, the house went up in flames. I am so proud of him because he's my hero. And even though he was scared to death, he had the wherewithal to stay on the phone with 911, keep his brother safe. But unfortunately, we didn't have a, a happy ending. And for the first time since that tragic night, Major spoke directly to Bonnet in court Wednesday at his sentencing. I cried out, why, why? I told him that he was dark, that he was evil, and that he only knew how to take lives, and that I am the light that he can never extinguish, and our love will never die. She says she has made it through some very dark days with the help of counselors and friends at the Victims Resource Center, as well as her new buddy, a therapy dog named Simba. I told him he took four lives that day on October 25th because my life is now filled with pain and sorrow and I have a lot of healing to do. And Major says she knows that healing process will never really end, but she also knows deep down here, she said, that she'll once again see her boys. Reporting at the Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Bohal, Chicago Eyewitness News. Andy, thank you. And at today's sentencing, Bonnet did maintain his innocence. He told the judge he's not guilty. The judge told him, quote, the jury said you are. Bonnet's attorney tells Eyewitness News he will appeal that verdict.